If you're watching this, you may be about to lose faith in humanity for the level of stupidity that you're about to witness. So here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of what it looks like when you get reported to the regulator that keeps you on a register that shows you're medically qualified. My website got an email recently from a guy called Mark Halliday. Uh, now there's probably a million people with that name, assuming that's a real name. So I'm not gonna tell you which one he is because I don't even know myself. I've literally never even met the guy. I'm gonna show you every word that was said, which led to me getting reported. So sit back, get the popcorn out and check this out. So here's the original email that we got now. Um, you can see basically he, he's asking, you know, where did I take my PhD and in what field was it? Um, now, I have never claimed to have a PhD. I, I, I don't have a PhD. I have a degree. You know, that's that's all I've ever said. <laughs> um, and let's have a look at what we said. So um, we said, you know, where where and when was it said that Dr. Rabs that has a PhD? He's never said this himself anywhere at any time. So if someone suggested it, they've done so wrongly or fraudulently uh, because I have never said I have a PhD ever in my life. So here's what um, he responded in response to that. Now he says that, you know, the title Dr. Abs, so that's not a title, doctor on its own is the title, uh, given in a medical and healthcare context directly indicates that he's in possession of a PhD degree at the very least. Now, a PhD degree, a, a degree, an undergraduate degree is different to a postgraduate degree, is different to a master's, is different to a PhD, and they're all <laughs> different things. A PhD is like a one-year thing where you do a dissertation, I'm sure you all know, and an undergraduate and a postgraduate are different things. So my undergraduate was five years. That's how long it takes to do medicine or dentistry in the UK. Um, so a PhD degree is, is not anything. There's a PhD and there's a degree. So this guy clearly thinks that there is such a thing as a PhD degree and or he doesn't know the difference between a degree and a PhD, a, a multi-year degree and a single year dissertation type of PhD in a very, very specific field. Um, wow. Okay. So that's where it all starts. <clears throat> And then it says, in any reasonable view, it actually suggests a license to practice medicine. Yes, because I have a license. I am on a register of medically qualified people to allow me to do things like prescribe medicines, which only medic medically qualified people can do. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's carry on. It's both astonishing, is it? and fraudulent that Dr. Rab should market himself in this manner without any PhD accreditation whatsoever from any institution. Now, <laughs> there are many doctors, in fact, there are probably more doctors in the world, you know, uh, people with a doctor title, that is, who have done medicine or dentistry, uh, or maybe something else that I've forgotten, who don't have a PhD than who do. Um, in fact, many of my friends are doctors and dentists who did that uh, undergraduate degree in medicine or dentistry, and they never did a PhD after they just have their medical or dental training, and, and, and that's it. So he's saying you cannot use the title of doctor unless you have done a PhD, i.e. a PhD dissertation, like a, like a single year thing. No, you can use a doctor title if you've done an undergraduate degree that gives you a doctor title, like medicine or dentistry. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Clearly he must be aware of this. Well, I think, I think clearly he's the one that doesn't understand this. Um, since it is exactly because of the authority that the title doctor brings that Mr. Abs is using it. And this is because it indicates attainment of a PhD. No, the title of doctor means you have done some sort of qualification that gives you the title doctor. It could be a PhD. For example, I had a teacher in school who did English as her undergraduate degree, and then she went on to do a PhD in, in some within, something within the field of English. And so she was doctor, whatever her name was. Um, doctor can also come from an undergraduate degree. It doesn't mean you've done an actual one year PhD. So this guy clearly doesn't know what reality is by the looks of it. and But it gets juicy. Here we go. Mr. Abs, thank you, is liable under the Fraud Act of 2006, as well as under consumer protection laws. 
He is also susceptible to substantial reputational damage on YouTube, social media, and other platforms. So apparently I've committed fraud um, by using a title that, I, that I'm not allowed to use, even though I'm on a medical register, which is the, is the point of using that title. Um, I've broken consumer protection laws. I don't know which consumer I've damaged in some way. And reputational damage on YouTube, somehow, social media, and other platforms. Which other platforms? I have a YouTube channel, obviously, you're watching this. I have a Instagram channel for my to, to match my YouTube channel. It's not great, I'll be honest, uh, but I have it. What other platforms am I supposed to be on? Um, I suggest you take action to stop this misleading and dangerous act of fraud. What is dangerous? Who is in danger? Um, <laughs> before I do. So there's the, you know, there's, that's basically a threat as far as I'm aware. It disrespects the title of doctor. Um, first of all, that's not what he's done there. That's not a title. That's a noun. Title is D-R and then a dot. Um, doctor there is a noun. Uh, misleads the public and is the tactic of a charlatan. So apparently I've misled the public by using the title doctor, even though I have literally a degree that gives me that title. And I'm on a medical register to show that I indeed have that title. I look forward to hearing your response. I bet he did. So we wrote back and we said, uh, we take it by response that you've assumed he has a PhD, in which case, you know, please choose wording carefully. I think that's fair to say. He is indeed medically licensed, I am, and has medical indemnity insurance, I do. He doesn't market himself as having a PhD, because I don't, because having a medical degree, such as medicine or dentistry, etc., is not a PhD. Ergo, a degree, undergraduate or postgraduate, are different things which are different to a master's, which are different to a PhD. They're all different things. Um, a degree is not a PhD, a PhD is not a degree. Having a medical degree such as medicine slash dentistry is what allows him to be on a professional register, which is true. We welcome the threat of fraud allegation as one look on a medical register will show his name instantaneously and show his doctor title as wholly appropriate, which it does. Um, do not email us again. Your email will now be blocked for unnecessary and false allegations alongside threatening behavior. Unfortunately, we didn't block him <laughs> um, in time, so he did respond to this. Um, let's see what he then responded. So he's amused by this email even more than the previous one. Apparently, I have the gall to suggest that using the term doctor does not indicate that you have a PhD. That's correct. The term or the title doctor indicates that you have done something to warrant the title doctor. It could be a PhD. It could be a degree in medicine. It could be a degree in dentistry. This guy thinks you can only use the title doctor if you have done a PhD in a specific field. So everyone that's done a medical degree cannot apparently use the title doctor. Um, astonishing, absolutely astonishing. You caught yourself in your, on a bio of your website, cosmetic doctor, cosmetic dentist, when you are patently neither. <laughs> okay, so let's take, uh, I don't want to make this go on too long, but let's take that uh, you know, cosmetic dentist as, a, as a, the example here. If I'm not on, if I'm not a cosmetic dentist, if I'm not a dentist, um, then I wouldn't be on a dental register, which I am. Um, and to be on that register, you have to have done a degree in that which in turn also gives you a doctor title. Um, and that register is public. Anyone can look at it. But here is the really, really juicy bit. I have reported you to the General Dental Council today. So what he's done, let's just get this straight. He has reported me to a regulator that has a clipboard with people's names on of who is registered which includes me, because that's a public register. So they're standing there with this clipboard and my name is right there. He's gone to that regulator and said, this guy isn't on the clipboard, even though I'm literally right there. That's like looking at someone and or looking at me and saying, you're not wearing a black jumper. It's literally right there, okay? So if he did report me to the General Dental Council, the same website that he did the report on is the website that has my name on as being medically registered. Incredible scenes.
Um, and and here it gets worse, okay? Far worse. And I have given them the details of the blank practice. Now, I've just blurred the name of the practice out here because as you're about to see, they have nothing to do with it. So the practice that he said in that uh, word is a practice that I do not work at and I have nothing to do with and they have nothing to do with me. In fact, it's not even in the same half of the country as me. But somehow he's reported a perfectly innocent practice that I don't work at to a regulator. <laughs> and wait for it. Tomorrow, here we go. Tomorrow, I will report you to the GMC, which is a general medical council, by the way, um, which is, again, not the one that regulates me because my initial degree was in dentistry. So I'm governed by the general dental council instead. Um, but, you know, whatever floats your boat. And wait for this, the local police. <laughs> so apparently the police are going to get a report that I have gone to university, studied an undergraduate degree that gives me a doctor title, and I have then used that title. What a phenomenal use of police time and resources. Brilliant, brilliant, Mark. Absolutely fantastic use of your mental resources and physical resources as well. And then here we go, the NHS. Now, if you don't know what the NHS is, if you're not from the UK, it's National Health Service. It is, um, if you're in the US, I think you have something called Medicare. It's, it's roughly similar to that. I think that's probably the closest thing. It's a government-backed um, healthcare, it's a government healthcare system that anyone can go and, and get treatment for, whatever you've got. Now, the key is the NHS is not a regulator. <laughs> the NHS is a service provider that has employees, of which I am not one. I do not work in the NHS, I work privately. I have spent time in NHS departments, such as maxillofacial surgery or head and neck surgery, for instance. Um, I don't do that now, um, because that's not my job. Um, but he has reported me to an employer that does not employ me. So no idea what he's expecting there, but let's wait and see. And then he's also reported me as if it, you know, can't get any more fantastic to the Consumer Standards Board. Good luck. Well, thank you for the luck, first of all. And Consumer Standards Board, I'm not sure. I might be wrong on this, obviously, because I'm not a lawyer. I'm not sure such a thing actually exists. I think it's trading standards. So I'm guessing this guy isn't from the UK, possibly, because he, he doesn't know that it's, it's called trading standards. Uh, but there we have it. That is you know, what this guy has, has spent his time doing. I've never met him and he just decides to do this for no reason. Now, you may find all this hilarious and I'm sure many of you do. But the thing is, I, I have to deal with this headache now. You know, I have spent all this time giving out free education to anyone that would like to watch it um, on YouTube. And in that, I use my, my name and my title that I have legally <laughs> and validly acquired. Uh, so why not? I don't see anything wrong with that, especially when I'm on the appropriate register for it as well. And someone who I've literally never met in my life has decided to have this amount of lack of brain cells, shall we say. And this is the issue that medical professionals face. You know, people that aren't medically qualified can do things like this and have no consequences, but it's it's of great consequence to the actual professional that has to then deal with it in their own time. Now, if it keeps going, it's actually not a problem for me because then it becomes harassment. And, you know, I've got his email, I can pass it to the police if needed, it's, it's not a big deal. And if you're really <laughs> interested in trying to figure out whether I am medically qualified or not, first of all, it's public, like anyone can look it up. Um, second of all, I thought instead of putting the license here on the screen, because technically someone can say it's photoshopped, I thought, why not do it in a way which, you know, you can't say is photoshopped. So here's my advice to you, if you, if you really want to check this out, and you can do this for anyone, actually, anyone you like, um, just go to the university that I or whoever you're talking about has graduated from, Leeds, and ask them, did this person graduate from here? with this qualification to make them medically qualified such that they can prescribe medicines, uh, make medical diagnoses and form medical treatment plans that you can only do with a medical 
degree or certification or qualification, such as say medicine or dentistry. And that way you're not even taking it from me. And there's nothing to accuse of being photoshopped either. You can hear it straight from the source uh, direct. So I hope that was entertaining for you. Certainly has been at least a little bit for me and I'll see you in the next video.